He just begun his career as a lawyer and was serving as deputy prosecutor in Fordyce. Just before leaving for a friend's wedding, he got a call from the police chief saying they had arrested the Rolling Stones. And I said, tell me one of them's names. And he said, let me get the driver's license, let me see. So he comes back to the phone and he said, Keith Richards and Ron Woods. And I said, oh, good gosh. Get in my car and go to City Hall and people are already gathering. So I walk in and there they are. There they are, Keith Richards and Ron Woods, just nice as they could be. The Rolling Stones had played a concert in Memphis and Wood and Richard, with two companions, decided to drive to Texas. It's not real clear how they wound up in Fordyce, where they stopped at a cafe, got spotted, and then the town police pulled them over for reckless driving, and the world had a story. I imagine there were plus 1,500 people outside the city hall hollering and uh, screaming. We were getting calls from the London Times. All our senators were calling from Washington. The State Department was calling. The Stones never seemed to be too bothered by it all. This was a small bump in the road for them. They had more money than there was in South Arkansas. Tommy still has the original traffic tickets eventually issued to Keith Richards. They came after an eight-hour ordeal. Richards signed them, then paid a fine, and they all left. And that was good enough for Tommy Mays. I just didn't want our little town to be embarrassed. As for those traffic tickets, Tommy has been told they fetch close to 20 grand on eBay. The incident is also remembered by the Stones themselves. In fact, it's in the opening chapter of Keith Richards' autobiography.